What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to our very first, very first Modern Horizons draft. I'm excited. Are you excited? Going to be using these vent tickets. One out of eight. Not, not ideal. Not the start we're looking for. But maybe it's the start we deserve. I don't know if that's true. I have no idea. I figured this would actually fire faster. Oh, Cursed Dragon's back up at the top. Case? Our boy Case is back up at the top. <laughs> Look at the top name. It's Case. Yeah, that's hilarious. Same, same. Same, same. Three. We're getting there. We are a getting there. Did you just whistle the Prince Ali song from Aladdin? No. I was listening to the song. It does kind of sound like it, though. I was listening to the actual Kavinsky song that was on during. Ooh. Okay, this should not be down here anymore. We've passed this point. Okay, okay. We got uh, Yogmoth Thran Physician. That guy seems pretty busted, right? I'm very curious as to what the cards are worth, so I'm going to open a little price. A little pricey page. What's Thran going for? Ten tickets? Deal. That's also very good. Uh, this is a league, not a phantom draft. I probably should have done a phantom draft, but... There's some money in here. Urza's is 26. Renin 6 is 20. Force of Negation 17. Season Pyromancer 14. Fiery Islet. The blue-red Horizon Canopy is 12... Prismatic Vista, the uh, the basic land, fetch land is 11. Nurturing Peatland, the black-green uh, Horizon Canopy is 11. This guy's probably not worth anything. Mm, plus two, plus two, as long as another ore is attached against First Strike and Lifelink. So this is, this is just Boggle's material, right? This is just Daybreak Coronet for one more mana, right? But it doesn't fall off. Uh, one one for two two for two. Is, this guy does seem alright. It's two two for three. Uh, whenever another it or another goblin dies, it deals one damage to any target, which is great. But you can also sack a goblin, and make two one ones. And uh, we can probably there's probably a sacrif sacrificial theme in the in the set. I also like trumpeting herd, four mana for a three three with rebound, so two three threes. Very reminiscent of um. Uh, call of the herd. Well, to be fair, this guy is just rare. And that was that rhymed. That had a little rhyme to it. When it enters the battlefield, you can search library for a mountain put on the battlefield. When it die, it attacks each combat, and when it dies, you sacrifice a mountain. I like Talisman of Conviction. This is a 5-mana 2-3 flyer. You can exploit it by sacrificing another creature. Whenever another creature you control dies, you put a 1-1 one -one counter on it, and it gains haste if that creature was exploited. So, a 3... Wow, low mana is so loud, huh? Uh, this spell costs two less if there is a land card in your graveyard for a 4-3. It deals two damage to target creature. That guy's actually pretty good. Goblin War Party, four mana. You create three one ones or creatures you control. This is actually, this card seems fantastic. Yeah, we'll probably be taking this over the Talisman, perhaps. Forgotten Cave, nice to see you. Pillage, don't care. Draw a card until the end of turn target creature gets trampled on plus one plus oh for each card you've drawn this turn. So on your turn, this is going to be plus two, plus oh, and trample. On their turn, it's usually going to be plus one, plus oh, and trample. I just have very good earbuds in. They pick up all the background noise. The talismans aren't good outside of slivers. That's interesting. I feel like it's really early to have those kind of opinions, though. Whenever this or another creature you control dies, scry one. It is a three, two for three. This is an orc, not a goblin, so I'm kind of like... Never dies, deals 200 target player planeswalker. Meh, seems fine. I think I'd rather just have the witch, which is a goblin. It just has a lot of synergy with, with our other picks so far. 
Seville Pippin, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Etchings of the Chosen. Creatures you have the controls of the and creature to the entire creature gains control and indestructible. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if we're going to branch into white for that. As long as you've drawn two or more cards this turn, it has double strike. That's fine. 2-2 two, two for two. If you have Hellbent, it can ping. Target creature gets negative one, negative one for each swamp you control. This is actually probably pretty decent. Yeah, we're just going to with the Defile. Headless Spectre. Three mana for a 2-2. Two, two. This is basically just Hypnotic Spectre, except it has Hellbent. That's when they discard the card. Uh, Sliver creatures you control have discard a card, draw a card. That's pretty good. This is just a looter. Yeah, right. Like, this is... Yeah, if you have three or four swamps, this is just fantastic. And it's also an instant, which is worth noting. Um, yeah, that's just, that just fixes your colors. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this guy. Yeah, this guy's fine. Uh, another Goblin War Party, which I'm pretty okay with. Sadistic Obsession is... Put it on a guy. Put a negative one, negative one counter on a creature. Eh, that's good, but a little bit costly. Needs five mana to work, and like they don't have a removal spell. We'll just take another Goblin War Party, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll take another Goblin War Party. <laughs> I don't hate Goblin Champion. Is Goblin Champion good? This is just Mind Rake with Overload. Or Mind Rot. Did I say Mind Rake? It is Mind Rake, but it's Mind Rake is Mind Rot with Overload. Do I want another Goblin War Party or a Goblin Champion? Hmm. These are the questions we ask ourselves. I think we'll take the champion here. I don't want to overload with these guys. Oh, they don't have overload. They have entwine. Unearth seems pretty good. Return creature with converter bank has three or less. We can get back the uh, Pashalic Mons. Uh, unearth two. Yeah, I'll just take the unearth actually. This is the pinging sliver, but it's still a 2-2 two, two for 2, which is nice. This is a 4-2 for, for 4. Putrid Goblin's still a Goblin with Persist, which actually seems great for us. So land in your graveyard. I think this guy's actually still fine. Orcish Hellraiser? Man, that seems fine. Orcish Hellraiser? Man, that seems fine. How many slivers do we have? We have Hollowhead Sliver and... We'll take a sliver. This is nice. 3-1 drops, 3-2 drops, 3-3 drops, and 3-4 drops. Fantastic. This is my first Modern Horizons draft. We shall see how we do. Wow. Every card we've picked up has been on color. Bizarre Trade Mage. What's that guy going for? Probably not a lot, but it still seems pretty decent. Where you at, Bizarre Trade Mage? Are you not even up here? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 11 cents. Oh, is this a sunbait? Wow, that thing looks legit. That is an 8 ticket rare, and the foil goes for... Eh, about 9. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take the nice uh, 20 tickets here. Plus, we can still just play it in our deck. I got more excited about the 3-4 uh, the flyer.
munitions expert. Uh, when enters the battlefield, you have a deal damage equal to the number of goblins you control. Yeah, that seems fantastic for what we're doing. Destroy a land. It's controlling my surge level for basic land. That seems bad. Lob darts fine. Sinkhole is. F yeah, we're just taking this munitions expert. Oh, actually, this is great because it gives us a land for the igneous elemental. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, pyro hope. Pyrophobia is good. Uh, goat nap is cute. Oh, three minutes with evolve is is fine. We're just gonna take the deal three though. What's a spiteful sliver? What does that guy do? Oh, never mind. I know what that guy does. <laughs> Why did I even ask? Merit Lage is slumber, huh? Uh, carrion feeder, zombies, fine. Ravenous giant, probably pretty good. Six mana for a 5-4. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card and lose a life. That's great with Unearth. Uh, I think it's actually just the Giant, right? It could just be Carrion Feeder. I could see that. I mean, 5-5 five, five for 5, but... Hmm. Yeah, I guess Carrion Feeder is probably better than just generic 5-5. Five, five. That's fine. Cave of Temptation. Sacrifice a put 2-1-1 one, one counters on a creature. That actually seems pretty decent. I don't think it's Sadistic Obsession. I don't think it's Universal Automaton. Yeah, I'll just take the cave. Also, being able to sacrifice it again turns on Igneous Elementals, so... Decent. Uh, 3 mana for a 2-2. Two, two, sacrifice another creature until the end of turn. It becomes a dragon. That actually seems good for us. <laughs> seems, seems tempting. Yeah. Nice. Uh, look at the top three cards of your library for one in your hand and the rest in the graveyard. Sure, it's just the two mana draw. We're just going to take the the flyer. Uh, rank officer four mana for three. When, when it enters the battlefield, we discard a card. If you do, create a two two. X. We can also discard a land, which makes Igneous Elemental playable. This actually seems fine. Oh, wow. The double munitions expert? That's pretty sweet. What does this guy do? Three mana for two? Oh, it's a double strike guy. Yep, that's pretty good. What's the ability where you can pitch a land to recast it? Uh, retrace. Wow, another pyrophobia too? Jeez. Our deck is looking sweet. Lava Dart did come back. All right, I'll just take Lava Dart. <laughs> eh, whatever. Take a goat nap.
don't care about that. I think we're actually... Our deck looks pretty insane already. And we still have a whole pack. Yep, alright. Oh, what is this? Force of Despair, huh? That seems pretty sweet. Only a dollar, but still... Destroy an artifact, don't care about that. Yeah, I guess we're just taking Force of Despair. Firebolt's also very, very good. Is it Firebolt or Force of Despair? Destroy all creatures that are in the battlefield. Like, if they play two creatures, like, this is just removal, right? So, I mean, it's probably better than Firebolt. Well, we already have Yawgmoth for double black. I'm not too concerned with the double black. I don't, well, I don't care about playing it for free. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I think it's just better than Firebolt here. Like, I think it just kills things that we might not be able to kill with a Firebolt, so. Well, this pack is pretty unimpressive. I'm just taking this Battle Screech. Yeah, we're not going to take another Virus, you know, Sand Sprinter. We're not going to take a Ninja of the New Moon. What does this guy do? It's easier for two. Unearth again. Okay. Uh, Goblin Matron? Seems pretty good when I can get Pashalik Mons. <laughs> I have considered that it does not go face. It has crossed my mind. I think it's just another Bogart and Dragonheart. We have enough things to sacrifice. Yeah, seems fine. All right, so this is 22, and you can play Force. Maybe. We do have one Threaten Effect. We have a Goat Nap. How many Sacrifice Outlets do we have, though? We have just Carry and Feeder so far. I feel like I haven't seen that many sacrifice. Oh, double bow garden, floaty boys. What's this guy? Haste and one one, deals one damage to any target. Eh, it's actually not too bad. Four mana for a three three with a ninjutsu. When enters battlefield, target creature you control gets indestructible. This one's interesting because like they'll block one of your guys, you'll ninjutsu this in and give the guy they blocked indestructible. Love it. Our is a mountain, right? I think Ventral Devil's probably the pick here. I don't know if it's main deck. Well, Putrid Goblin seems great again. Probably better than one of these other things. Probably better than the Sliver, maybe? Yeah, because we're definitely going heavy goblins here. Diabolic Edict? Diabolic Edict's probably fine here. Is Sissay anything special? I want to pass like a six ticket Sissay or something. I would feel real dumb. The problem is that the cards are so random that, like, sometimes, like, cards are going to be worth money that you don't even under. You're like, I don't even, I didn't even know why this would be this, this much. Undead Augur, whenever uh, this guy or another zombie, if we were zombies, I could definitely get behind that, dude. This is actually probably just fine. What does this guy do when enters battlefield? Tap up to two up to two target creatures. Don't block. Don't don't block this turn. It's actually not bad. I don't know if we're playing threat number one. I don't know if I want threat number two. I think one threat is actually pretty good. I think it's actually fine in the deck. If that creature is a goat, it gets plus three plus zero. Oh. Having answer artifacts. 
Uh, sure. It's all irrelevant now. I do like a Ruination Rider. Rider. Ruination Rider. How many black, black blade, blade back slivers? <laughs> Boy, they say that five times fast. How many blade black, blade black, blade? Okay. Fuck <laughs> God, Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. How many blade back slivers do you need for it to be very good? I think this is the deck. Play two of these, add a bunch of lands. Eight, seven seems good. Cause city can still, cave can still tap for color. So this is a seven to nine, seven, 10. Seven, seven, nine, which is basically, basically eight, 10. Does it though? I mean, what are we cutting for it? I like rank officer. Maybe ward eye witch. Two dragon hearts, a goat nap, a matron. This guy's nice. We can draw and discard. Yeah, I guess that's fair. How does Jaber, how do you have five trophies? How did you even do five drafts by now? Oh, I see. You're just kidding. I was like, oh my God, that's not even possible. Dude, I thought you were serious. Are you for real? I kind of want this, this other champion in here just because I feel like we should have all the zombies in the deck. But I think we're, I think our deck is good. All right, let's get in there. That was quick. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Sure. Love it, art strong, but I don't know if it's stronger than the other cards in our deck. Oh, it's your boy. I mean, I like Lava Dark because it's one mana. It deals. It deals. Like if if you have a three three and they have a four four, you can kill it off. You can put a land in your graveyard, which is pretty relevant. That seems that seems good. It's your boy. This art is just fantastic. Oh yeah, these are changeling tokens, so uh so Yogmoth don't care. Big Yogs don't care. Uh if we yeah, we can do this and then munitions expert finish it off. 
that's fine. Look at this, you got island, swamp, plains, mountain, regular island. Jesus. How high are you picking your snow covered lands? Very high. Oh, uh, it deals too much target creature. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, they think they can block, but they cannot block. And then we get to just kill it with our Igneous Elemental. Hmm. That's good art. I like this Changeling art. Yeah, I'll use that ability. Kill it. And that'll do. All right. Good game. Good game. The game was good. Um, I guess we can bring in shenanigans. We did see uh, that artifact thing. Take out Unearth. Eh, all right. <sighs> Reckless charge. I guess I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, we have a ton of red sources. We can just keep this with Putrid Goblin. That's aggressive. Oh, yeah, we did it. Wow, that's prohibitive. Yikes. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four. You just drew four cards, is that right? No, that's the regular island. So, oh, these are just regular islands. So you just use your two cards. All right, I was like, oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. Next turn, we can actually go munitions expert, shoot for two with the trigger on the stack, sack it, put two goblins into play. Now that's I mean, it's going to cost. Actually, ooh, ooh, munitions expert, deal two, and then sack it. I guess it doesn't die. All right, well. I guess we can just do that. <laughs> Snow propeller and mountain island thing. You know what I'm saying. You know what's going on here. I was giving the toddler a bath. What I miss? Our deck is pretty sweet. Plus X for X is the number of snow permanents you control. Okay. 
I mean, I think we just munitions expert twice next turn. I, I hate to waste them both, but it puts a lot of bodies on the board. We could also defile and one munitions expert. Let's do that. Oh yes. Whenever another snow permanent is battlefield under control, you may have target player for the top two. It's just a mill. It's just an 04 Miller boy. Oh, I played another snow permanent. Oh, I got a mill your little deck. What'd you hit? Throws of Chaos? Oh, with Reach Race? That's like letting me draw a card. And I can exile a creature. No, I can't do that. Yeah, that's fine. All of this is fine. Well, that's fascinating. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, another snow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many, how many picks do you have to, do you have to commit to getting six snow perms? Six snow covered lands. Boom, 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 boom. So they're probably going to make a four, four here. A two, two, rather. Do they block here? That seems bad for us. Guess we just attack with both. If we attack with Carrion Feeder, they have an easy block on Carrion Feeder. I'd rather than block one of these guys, sacrifice it. Yeah, we have Retrace, but I'd rather... I'm going to keep my mana up because we want to... Uh, Blah, 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 blah. We can actually shoot this guy and kill it and then just sack this guy to make two goblins. Is that better? Because I really don't want them to amass these guys. I think a mass is the one mechanic that isn't in this set. I think you're right. All right, so if I sack this guy, they take a point, and we get two goblins, and they take one from this, right? If I sack this guy, they're going to take one, two from this. They still got a point to the face. Yeah, I think we're just going to let this happen. Because it gets rid of this guy, and then at the end of turn, we can make two guys if we really want to. We're going to play the land, though, because we do want to have Igneous Elemental next turn. Yep, that's fine. I think we're just at a point where we want to just kind of amass goblins now, because I feel like their, their board is getting a little aggressive. One, two, three, four, sack this shoot you in the face.
I'm a fan. Oh, they didn't make a guy in response? That's pretty cool. Interesting. That seemed like a mistake. I'm pretty sure Pashalik is going to take over this game. Yes, it would be too cheaper, but it's still it would still cost four, and the retrace cost four. So, I mean, we still could only do one thing. But only one of those would allow us to play this guy next turn. Nope, not going to dredge that. Oh, that's look at that little guy. fine. Oh, it's your last card in hand? Okay. If they block... If they... They have to block here, right? Because they take... You can go one, two, three, four. We can make two guys. Yeah, they actually have to block this with no cards in hand. Karen Feeder is what's known as lethal here. Alright, so... Yep, all right. <laughs> they figured it out. Yeah, it'd be a 3-3, three, 4-4, three, four, four, five, 5 and they would take three more damage from the uh, the goblins dying. I kind of like sacking all goblins here and then killing them. Pepperidge Farmer, what's going on, buddy? Glad to see it. Or uh, Pachelik is any target. Pashalek is only is any target. I'll keep this hand. Any one black source, and it's very, very good. Even now, it's very, very good. We got Noble Hierarch over here. Come on, give me one black source. Papa needs a black source. Oh, Papa's so good at this game. Papa, don't mess around. That's aggressive. Oh, what up, Sammy boy? Oh, a little Death Touch Scorperino, huh? Okay, well, that's... Isn't that sweet? It's cute that you even ask. You're like, would you like to use this ability? I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Preach. Seems good. Seems good. You may discard a card. We're probably just going to discard Godnap here. Three one and two two. Oh, uh, 
exile a creature card from your graveyard. Maybe it's Matron, actually. Yeah, we can get rid of Matron. What's going on right now? You may discard a card if you do. Oh, I just hit okay, and then, then I get to choose. That was weird. Can you please make the pew pew sounds when you cast Munitions Expert? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Feels weird that I didn't do that already. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and well. We can steal this guy and swing for a bunch. Oh, too bad we don't have any any things in the Grave yard. What if we take the zombie instead? Then everything is Then they just go block block and they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they go to five. When do I think the Hank Commander will hit YouTube? Probably this weekend sometime. And if they don't want to block, then they just get to keep their guy, which is fine. But I, I doubt they're not going to block here. Because then they would go to two, and uh, they'd be dead. Well, we have nothing on board that's super exciting. If we alpha, they can go block, block, they take one, which I actually think is... They could also go block, block, take two, and go to three, which I think is fine. Okay, still one man away from this guy. All right, we'll just pass here. Seems good. Well, the three four is big. Also sizable. Wow. <laughs> so if we shoot, shoot, they block here, they take... That should be lethal, right? There are tons of cowards in the set. They are changelings. Deck seems good. I kind of like the unearth. Oh, we have one in here, so that's pretty good. Actually, instead of the Orcish Hellraiser, I think this Blade Black Blade Black Silver is just better as having like a, just a guy on board that can that can ping when you're hellbent. Oh, it's target player planeswalker. Man, eh, that still could be very good. That's eh, not as good, I guess. Actually, I like this guy. Maybe we'll try the devil. Is this making up for that last vintage cube draft? Probably, yeah. I feel like it has been thus far. Um, I'll keep it. I think it's fine. 
It's a little slow, but I'm sure we'll draw some red things that we can play. Or swamps. Either one's fine. We can also cycle the unearthed. Easy choices to discard with this guy as well, so their deck doesn't seem terribly fast. It's a good bear. They're good bears, Brent. Alright, well that guy will come into a oh actually munitions expert with an earth is pretty sick too. We could just munitions expert block and then we have unearth for later. That seems pretty okay. I think we're gonna do that. I mean, putting this bear in the grid, this is a this is a sick two two. Like, it's a two two for the for five men in the late game. You get two more bears out of it. It's very good. This guy's also very good. <laughs> Mox Tantalite has entered the exile zone. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't think we're going to unearth here. I think we're just going to play rank officer and make a bunch of dudes yeah, okay two three sure Unexciting. This is so many lands. <laughs> this is an unreasonable amount of lands. Three, four, five, six. Even if we sacrifice this, we still have six lands. Yikes. Wow. So they have two cards in hand? Actually, that's not that's not terrible. Yeah, well, we're definitely going to make three with one of these and then pump them with the rest. Sure, that seems fine. Great three goblins. Get this dude back. And shoot floaty boy. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Is it mox tantalite time? Oh, tantalizing. How exciting. So many Silumgar scavengers. This card's actually better than I thought it was. So we can go carrion feeder. We do need another land here. All right, well, we'll get rid of this guy. We'll attack with all the things. And if we get this next turn, maybe we can just kill them? I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, that's actually a lot. 
I do have two turns though. Let's see if this works. Do you hear how loud that little man is? Dang it, little man. Let's do this because we do have. Is this whenever any other creature or every creature you control dies? Alright, good. Destroy one dude. Alright, well, I think you go to like two here. No, this is exactly lethal. Wow! Exaxes. Our deck is insane, guys. Josh, have a good night, buddy. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you sometime soon, I'm sure. Man, if we 3 this draft and we have like a a, a Yawgmoth and a... This hand's pretty unexciting, but I think we can keep it. We're on the draw. That's fine. A Yawgmoth and a Foil Land to sell. That's pretty sweet. I accept. How does some bitch know on it? <laughs> wow, that's aggressive. Whatever, Josh. Sunline is plus two plus two as long as you got another. That guy's that guy's aggressive. Wow. Oh man, Mike's just hopping in anyway. He's just hop. He's just hopping on in. What? What? I was just saying the contract. Oh okay. I thought you were hopping on in. Well, I didn't respond. So. I just. I. You literally got a message right now, my dude. Well, it's in my pocket. So. Oh you. Okay. Okay. Whenever you draw a card, put a one-one counter on this dude. That's pretty scary. I guess we're playing this. Spin the wheel. Fantastic. That's what we wanted to hit, actually. All right. Nailed it. I believe that was the very next card. So if we actually played this guy, no, that didn't do anything. As long as you had another, just trample and destructible. Sure. Don't be a land. I guess it's fine if it's a land. If we could draw a carrion feeder, I'd be more than willing to goat nap this and, and throw it at your face. Uh, this is actually going to be the last draft because I am super hungry right now. Uh, tap target creature and pwn controls. Doesn't untap. Sure. Yeah, I'll just take four. Ain't nobody got time for that guy. Don't be more lands. Oh my god, we did it! Holy bejesus!
Which are we killing? Uh, probably this guy, right? This guy's just better. I don't want to wait for this draft to be over. I don't feel like I've been summoned now, so. Well, yeah, I said, did you see my message? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I'm down for that. Hey, man, don't move my shoes, bro. I have to. That's where they sit, bro. Oh, so now those shoes, I mean, I can put them back if you really want me to. I think you need to. Nope. Oh, man. This is why you can't have nice things, Michael. Some nice things. Name one nice thing that you have. A computer. Well, I guess you're above poverty then. A computer! I'm gonna crack this guy. Actually, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Maybe we just play. We could play this guy and actually sack something. That seems really good. Hey, I'm a computer. Stop all the downloading. You remember that? Remember that meme? Stop all the downloading? Yeah, yeah, I remember that meme. Do you? We should have 100% played this first, but I don't think it's going to matter because we are not going to... Uh... No, we still could have should have played it first. So now we can go this guy. Draft goblins? I drafted your mama. Save the goblin for your mama. That's what I always say. <laughs> Save the gob for your mom? Yes. Save it for her. Uh, activate you, sack this little nerd, shoot this guy. Kind of funny, Chris messaged me today about the chat. <laughs> and shoot this guy. Chris Kayford? Yeah. What did he message you? He was like, chat was asking if you watched this one show, Letter Kenny. Well, did you? I was like, no, nah, I don't know what that is. I don't either. I saw I saw an ad for it on, on Facebook today, actually, and I was like, I don't, I don't know what this is. That's a weird name. When shows have weird names like that that don't make sense to me, and I just have to assume it's their name, I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm gonna sack this guy, shoot you. Okay, well, <laughs> that'll do, I guess. All right. But you were at seven. So what? He just gives up 17? Well, because we have this guy, right? Do you know what this guy does? Uh, Whenever another goblin, or this or another goblin dies, you deal one damage to any target. Sure. And then you can pay four to make two goblins from one goblin, right? It's pretty good. And then I have carrion feeder, which lets me just sack these goblins to shoot things. So I can just, they just tried to fight this, mm -hmm. give this plus two, plus two and fight in response. No, I understand. Okay. I understand that part. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like this is hard to beat when we have eight mana. We can just sack this, make two goblins and deal a point. Sack this, make two goblins and deal a point. Yeah, I guess that's true. It's pretty inevitable. Plus you have carrion feeder to... Letter Kenny is great. It's very similar to Trailer Park Boys. Ooh, I love Trailer Park Boys. Oh, you're just, you're speaking his language. You're speaking his trailery language. I Today was my one year anniversary at work. Well, congrats. I got, a, I got a fountain pen, which is nice. Did they give you a cake? Uh, there was cake, yes, but it wasn't specifically for me. It was for everyone's birthdays and anniversaries. I got this. this Ooh, that's a good boy. boy. This art's fantastic. That is I would a buy a print of this art. Yeah, it looks really cool. It's like futuristic background. With the cool, he like, looks like window. he's doing some sick ass shit wherever he is. You're like, you could look at this art and you're like, mm, that dude's not doing some. That dude's not doing any wholesome shit right there. Look at him. You're like, ooh. Mm -mm. He looks like he's planning. He's got a bunch of animals in the background that he's doing experiments on and stuff. As long as it's not dogs, it's okay. No, it's not okay for any animal to get experiments <laughs> on, Michael. But dogs are the worst kind. Also, I I uh, I realized how good that uh that card is like cowards can't block when i when i realize how many changelings are on this set oh, i'm yeah. like oh yeah it's it's a cute little reference but it, it is relevant in the draft form. oh get a little prismatic yeah, before i was like here. there's literally no cowards in the set and then i was like changelings you got me can't block cow can't block if you're you, you know actually i'm going to imprint now and seeing if i can get that imprint or in imprint i think it's in yeah there we go i don't want to wait 
for Mike B to be over. Who did they are for this? Mark Winters. Mark Winters and Yonker. <laughs> Winters and Yonkers. Oh, they do have stuff. Yeah, usually the artists have their stuff up here. Let's click on the Mark Winter. Dang it, Mark Winters. I just want a Yogmoth print, my dude. I'm not asking for a lot. I wonder if he's allowed to sell that, though, because it's their art. Well, yeah, because, look, you got Dialogue 2 I guess there. you're allowed to just... Yeah, I guess you could sell prints. It'd be weird if you couldn't. Yeah, they probably have some kind of arrangement where they can... They have to be able to monetize their art. I'm going to look up... I imagine they don't get paid that much from Wizards themselves. Unless they're, like, on the team. Yogmoth print. When are they going to print Lord Yogmoth? Wow, that was in 2011? Jesus. Eight years later. Nope, that's on Scryfall. Those are pretty high quality. Just print it out. <laughs> they actually, you're like, yeah, they actually are. What does this dude do? Spring Bloom? Oh, it's just Harrow. Harrow. Hey, man, you know what I have in my room that's worth money besides my computer? My dad. Yeah, he's in there too, but I don't want to tell you about that. Well, but, uh, now I know. Okay. I also got two prints that I haven't put up yet. Well, that's because you're a little biscuit. Got him. Did you guys see me get him? Shoot this guy. This card's insane. Did you see this card? It's a 1-1 one, one with flash, and when it comes into play, it deals damage equal to the number of goblins you control. That seems good. To any target or... To, to a creature or planeswalker. It's pretty good. So, like, the next one, I have two of them, so the next one deals three. And there's also unearthed in the format, so you can just get it back. That's pretty good. I'm going to email Mark Winters, and I'll be like, listen, Mark Winters, where my prints at? Where my Yawgmoth Thran Physician prints at? He'll be like, you can buy the original art for $4 million. It's, it There's certain like original art I would consider, but uh, this would probably A, be way out of my price range, and B, it could be digital, so... No, I'm not going to block. I got a Yawgmoth in hand. <laughs> Blocking is just worse than sacking this to Yawgmoth and drawing a card. This has got protection from humans, too. Which is super relevant. Whew. That means changelings. Mm -hmm. Look at, get a little of this guy. Snow bro. Snowsif McBrosif. Wow, this is a lot of pyrohemias in my hand, too. Pyrophobias. So if we play this guy, it's a negative one, negative one counter, so it stays forever. Yep. Good lord. God, this guy's stupid. I like Bogard and Dragonheart, then steal this with Goat Napper and then sacrifice it. I don't think you have the mana for that, right? Well, not this turn, but I'm just going to play Yawgmoth. Hope it doesn't die. What are they going to do in their blue, white, green deck? Isn't Path to Exile in the set? Path to Exile? Or is Path to Snowman? <laughs> Snow to Exile? Yeah. <laughs> you know the one I mean. Oh, man. Oh, that's true. We can just play Yawgmoth and sack it. I forgot about that. <laughs> what a stupid idiot. That felt aggressive. I wasn't going to say anything. Played my first Vintage Cube, got super lucky, and got Tooth and Nail, Natural Order, and Plow Under, and 3-0. Nice. You showed me the power of all those cards, so thanks. Thanks, Coach. Oh, what? Is this real life? Choose up to one target creature. I'll choose you, and I'll sack this guy. Persist. Draw a card. Oh, God. This is busted, dude. This is not a reasonable magic card. Wow. This is disgusting. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. It only gets plus two, plus two if its power is two. So then it died because it actually fought Thran. Yep, that's pretty good. I also drew three cards. I don't know if you guys knew. If you took three damage, you're basically dead. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Wow, this card is broken. Woo! So we can just play Goblin War Party, make three 1-1s, and then I just have, like, three, like, just shoot all your things. What is this? Tap a dude? As long as you control and there's no permanent doesn't untap? Sure. I guess you got him. Yeah, that just means you can't attack with it. It's still going to do all his abilities. Yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll be fine. Well, I think we'll manage. Yet again, the power of science beats an abominable snowman. 
Well, sadly, but it's true. Okay, so you guys have all one toughness, huh? Yeah, that seems good. I guess we just play this. Seems fine. I'm no expert, but playing through one ones to kill all their dudes seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. It ain't easy having only six cards in the hand when you have literal sack three dudes, draw three cards, engine on board. Our opponent died. We won six packs, one modern Horizons event token, and some qualifier points. That seemed pretty successful for a very first Modern Horizons draft. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, on manatraders.com, on meundies.com slash franklapore, on mikeb.com, on robsmom.co. Check all these websites out, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.